All right, so I'm back. Um, this is not a mulligan. This is interesting. I, you know, one of the problems I have with affinity is sometimes the the choices are on what to mulligan are very very interesting. It looks like I'm in the affinity mirror match too, so this should be really fun. I do believe that he currently has better mana than I do as well. Although it may not matter if his hand is just a bunch of cantripping artifacts and such. I feel slightly unfavored in mirrors like this where I just don't know the deck well enough, but. We'll see how that works out. I'm uh, just going to go ahead and throw out the Acre Wellspring here. I can start doing a perilous research. Ooh, wait, Frogmite. I always miss that too. Like, I'll draw a card and think that, it, well, I'm out of mana, but no, Affinity doesn't really run out of mana like that. I get the feeling like this match is really more about who gets the Atog down fastest. It could be more important about two twos and four fours. Interesting that he would spend a galvanic blast on that. I don't think I would have. Uh, so let's get some green mana. Oh, of course, there's green mana right there. Um right, we'll just play off the play out this carapace forger then. Definitely making the carapace forger trade if it, if it's offered. Maybe I'll just eat a frog might and take four. I think I'm just gonna eat a frog might and take four. It's free, might as well. You can always make the forge trade offs later too. Which it looks like I'll get the chance to do. Uh, Mirror Forcer cost two. Okay. So I think here we're just going to go for a Carapace Forger and. Eh, I am going to do the Perilous Research because I do want to get to an ATOG first, if possible. And it can't hurt to draw extra cards either. Alright, I'm not going to attack because I do want to play some defense in case he's holding a galvanic blast in his hand or something. And then he draws another one and I die. But yeah, I think it's no more uh, going to be more about drawing the Atog and making him play around my Atog fling. There's his perilous research. Probably going to sacrifice his Terrarian. Yep. Yep, making the trades. Pretty easy trades to make, I think. So let's go for a Chromatic Star, which gives me a relatively free Mirror Enforcer. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and Thoughtcast first and see how I want to use my mana for that. All right, well, there's my Atog, so. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play the Atog, and then play the Mirror Enforcer.
Oh no. He's got another research. But I've got the A-Dog out first, so. That's good. Oh no, he's got his own A-Dog though. And a lot more artifacts than I do, than I have. But I do have a Galvanic Blast, so that's good. I've got two Galvanic Blasts now. Let's see how many artifacts I can make him sacrifice. So there's two lines of play here. He either defends his Atog by sacrificing another artifact, or he uh, just lets it die. Neither one is actually particularly good for him, especially right now. card and then do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately I don't have enough ar artifacts to kill him. Ooh. Okay, he is actually defending his Atog to the death. Alrighty. Fair enough. Okay, so there's a spring leaf drum, that's nice. And then thought cast again. And ooh, I can make him sack even more artifacts. <laughs> this is sweet. So Galvanic Blast this guy again. Now he lets it die. And of course, just attack with the Mirror Enforcer because free damage, why not? It's a pretty gutsy attack, my friend. Pretty gutsy indeed. But I will defend your right to attack. All right. Um, hmm. I'm going to perilous research now. I want some decent stuff. Uh, here, just sacrificing the synods, the seed of the synod. Uh, so, how many artifacts do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's enough for a fling, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it is. So, let's start sacking things. Sixteen. So there we go. We're gonna target him, sacrificing the Etog. Already. So that was nice. Um, we're gonna bring in Hydro Blasts, and that's pretty much gonna be it, I think. We're gonna bring in Hydro Blasts only, uh, taking out. 
I don't know what we take out. Uh, it's got to be like terrarians and maybe like a perilous research and an acre wellspring. Yeah, that's probably the best there. Okay, well this hand is super slow, but we're going to keep it. It has a Hydroblast, so I can Hydro its Atog. Although I'm uh, pretty screwed if he has like a Carapace Forger hand. No, no Carapace Forger hand, sweet. Uh, okay, so I can play around Gorilla Shaman here by not playing the Frogmite until next turn. I think I'm going to do that. Playing around Gorilla Shaman and Atog seems like a good idea right now. I'm on the, I'm on the draw. I don't have an, uh, an early game like he does, so I think it's just best to sit back and play defense. Okay. Alright, so let's play this Frogmite. And then a Thought Cast. And I guess we're done. Next time we we'll get to play some Mirror Enforcers and be happy. But I'll take some beatings from this Carapace Forger first. Atog, let's Hydroblast you. Alright, well that felt really good. So let's go for an Icar Wellspring. And our own Carapace Forger. And attack with Mr. Frogmite. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good. And now not so good. Well, although that could be all that he has. In which case, I feel great. Easy trade here when I'm, my hand is full of gas. So let's see what he does with the... Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to play the Mirror Enforcers now. I should have played the Mirror Enforcers beforehand. Um, but I wasn't thinking, so... Alright, Perilous Research, Sacrificing the Wellspring. If I'd done this all pre-combat, I would have been a lot better off. Alright. <laughs> Because it could have done all that pre-combat and then had the frogmite attack, and that would have been way better. So this is this deck isn't as straightforward as I thought. It's kind of it's much more complicated than I thought. Sequencing is really important. All right, so it's thought cast. Uh, play a springleaf drum here. 
Let's go ahead and sack this for some red mana. And blast his frogmite. Play Carapace Forger and attack with everything. Yeah, he'd be dead this turn if, if I hadn't uh, sequenced that one the wrong way before. Because that would have basically, he would have either traded with the Frogmite or he would have not traded with the Frogmite last turn, in which case he'd be dead this turn. <laughs> yep. So that's that.